Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I wanted to share with you all of my unread Audible books that I own. Either I've acquired them through uh, credits or have purchased them while on sale. So I have quite a few I haven't read yet because I've kind of been neglecting my Audible books while I listen to a lot of books on Scribd or through my library. Um, I'm kind of trying to, especially this year, finish out some series that I've started and rather than purchasing the books on Audible, um, I guess I've been mostly just listening to them through Scribd uh, or my library if they have them. So calling myself out a little to acknowledge that I've got a lot of books I've paid for that I haven't read yet. Um, which will hopefully kick my butt into gear next year and whittle this number down. I want to try and read at least 25 of these books uh, next year, which will be basically two a week um, with an extra one thrown in there, which shouldn't be a problem because I do read about six to eight books a month, I'd say. Um, some months a little more, some months a little less but definitely should be able to whittle my total number down, which I'll tell you at the end, um, by at least 25. So uh, I am going to be looking down a lot through this video. I'm going to try and put pictures of the books up, but I uh, color-coded a spreadsheet that I have of all of my to-be-read books. Um, Audible is just the first one in this series. We're also going to go through my Kindle books and my physical books uh, soon as well. So uh, without further rambling, I'm just going to start and go alphabetical by author's last name just because that's how my spreadsheet is set up. That's the easiest for me and uh, let's get to it. So the first book is The First Mrs. Rothschild by Sarah Aharoni. I also have Stephen Fry's Victorian Secrets by Nick Baker and John Wolfe, Feta Morgana by Stephen Boyette and Ken Mitroni, The Witch's Daughter by Paula Braxton. I have The Christmas Hirelings and Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon, Flyboys, A True Story of Courage by James Bradley, the Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, Red Rising, Golden Sun, and Morning Star by Pierce Brown, and I already know my friend Eric at Break Even Books is, if he's watching this, is probably thinking, man, this girl really needs to get on these books because they're my favorite, so I promise you, Eric, I will next year. <laughs> I also have Dreams and Shadows by C. Robert Cargill. Um, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and The Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby by Charles Dickens. The Memory of Us by Camille de May Mayo. Mm. Um, the Three Musketeers and The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins and Hornet Flight by Ken Follett and Twin Peaks The Final Dossier by Mark Frost. So that right there is just 20 books. <laughs> uh, next page we've got The Ragged Edge of Night by Olivia Hawker, The uh, Plague of Giants by Kevin Hearn, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress by Robert A. Heinlein, The Fifth Season and the Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, the Hundred-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out a Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. Uh, the Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. The Girls of Pearl Harbor, Hearts of Resistance, The Spitfire Girls and Wives of War by Soraya M. Lane. Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Alien Out of, Shatter, Out of Shadows by Tim Lebin and Dirk Maggs. Broken Angels by Gemma Liviero. Um, that's another 14 books right there. So we're up to 34. <laughs> We've got The Night Crossing by Robert Masello. The Lost Airmen, A True Story of Escape from Nazi-Occupied France by Seth Meyer Meyerowitz and Peter F. Stevens. 
Circe by Madeline Miller, The Radium Girls, The Dark Story of America's Shining Women by Kate Moore, The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, um, Aborzin by Garth Nix, The Gold Sun by Carrie Ann Noble, The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien, Christmas Eve 1914 by Charles Olivier, Strong Ending, A Journey from Combat to Comedy by Mary Lee Louise Parker, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Daughters of the Night Sky by Amy K. Runyon, Homeland by R.A. Salvatore, Elantris, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, Skyward, The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, uh, Edge Dancer, Oathbringer, and Warbreaker, all by Brandon Sanderson, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, uh, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, After Annette Vitka, Live by Alexandra Silber, so another 26 books there. And then the last page, we have I'm From the Sun, um, The Gustafer Yellow Gold Story by Morgan Taylor, Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky, The Beekeeper's Promise by Fiona Valpy, The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, and A Little Life by Hanya Yana Gahara, I think is how that's pronounced. Um, so that brings us to a total of 65 unread Audible books, which is just bananas, um, especially because a majority of the books I read are audiobooks, or I guess the format that I read is audiobooks. So definitely um, need to pay a bit more attention to that with uh, 2020 coming upon us. And um, also you might see that uh, as I do my other videos, um, some of my books overlap because I do own multiple books in more than one format, whether it's especially Kindle and Audible, um, because a lot of times when you buy a Kindle book, you can add the Audible narration to your purchase for a really, really good price. Um, so a lot of times, or a lot of my books, uh, the Kindle and Audible book are going to be the same. So that list is just slightly bigger, but um, I've got some duplicates on there, duplicate formats at least. So I really hope you enjoyed um, <laughs> listening to my list of books that I haven't read yet from Audible. And if any of those you have read um, and you think I should definitely like put to top priority for next year, please do let me know down in the comments below if you would like to buddy read any of these books. If you also have them, um, let me know and uh, yeah, just chat with me down in the comments. So I will speak with you there until my next video. Bye!